What's up, everyone? It's C Camp here, and uh, I'm bringing back some more Dynasty Mode Episode 6 here with the Indiana Hoosiers, and this is going to be the last video of, we or of Year 1 with my Hoosiers as we advance to Conference Championship Week. So, right off the bat here, we're going to start off with a Southern Miss at Houston battle, Battle of the Conference USA Champs. Let's see who wins this game as Houston is actually 12-0. Uh, with number two, trying to get the chance to go to the BCS, and no, they don't. Southern Miss stuffs them 24 to 12. So next, ACC battle of the ACC teams, and we've got Virginia Tech and Maryland. Maryland loses this one on another upset game. So now we're heading in, and Alabama's taking on South Carolina, the number five and six teams in South Carolina, with Marcus Lattimore scoring three touchdowns here, blow them out 37 to seven. So that was a pretty monumental win for them. And now heading into it, Utah versus Stanford. This could give Stanford the chance to get to the national championship. So let's see what they can do. And looks like Stanford wins this game by three points and a field goal. So Wisconsin at Michigan. Maybe Michigan can jump Stanford, but most likely not. So <clears throat> we've got them. And it looks like Wisconsin has upset the Wolverines. So Case Kenham, the Houston quarterback, is going to be the Heisman Trophy winner with Denard Robinson right behind him, as well as Tucker, Andrew Luck, and Trent Richardson. So that will get us to the Little Caesars Bowl, taking on the Ohio Bobcats in this bowl at Detroit, Michigan on December 26th. So Ohio is ranked, and they are 11-1, so I will be welcoming this team, and we will see, can we defeat an 11-1 and one team that is pretty decent, I guess you could say, and... Right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, look at how these presentation, how we walk out onto the field here. Not really sure where we are in fields, I guess. I don't know what this field is called, but here we are running out onto the field. We're not the home team in this one because it's a bowl game, obviously, so we will not be the home team as Ohio runs out as well. So both teams will be running out of their respective helmets. Uh, so they're both really excited. I'm excited to see if we can take down a mediocre conference team who is probably the best conference team in their league and getting a chance to play right off the bat here, third and four. I got to hit a slot receiver, Kofi Hughes, for a first down. And a couple plays later, another third down, and I convert to Ted Bolser here on a little tight end slant play for another first down and here it's second and 23 I was sacked the play before here comes the Ohio pressure I get the pass off for about a 30 yard gain and once again another first down so here pretty much trapped in the side of the field third and 16 but I convert hitting Ted Bolser on a little PA power roll, which seems to work almost 95 percent of the time I will admit so here on this halfback stretch play which, uh, s switching it to the outside and now it's third and two with a loss on that last play. And Willis is almost going to get into the end zone here. With it now being second and goal, Willis up the gut. Touchdown, Indiana. What a nice play. And that's a nice little presentation mode there. Bowl season it shows. So obviously it is bowl season. So we have the lead seven to nothing as I'm running a play in shotgun formation called Flood. And Wright Baker will scramble here and get pretty decent yardage for about 20 yards and a first down so once again on this first and 10 play I'm running backwards but I do find Darius Willis on a little slip screen here to the 34 yard line for another first down so you're really chugging along against this team but as I said that it must have been some sort of call to the heavens or something like I don't know but I throw a pick here which is not what I wanted and kind of wish I didn't say that that we were doing really well because then I threw the pick so I'm not gonna say we're doing well so Ted Bolster here gonna hit for about a 20 yard four verticals play and Edward Wright Picker having a decent game so far so you're on this little sprint play for Willis gets about six yards almost to the first down second and four on that and on the very next play here it's second and 14 now on the last holding call and what do you know Wright Baker fumbles the ball so that was disappointing, I will admit. So, here comes Indiana now. We'll play, we're on this little play. Right Baker up the middle for a first down. And it's 7-3 to three now. And I'm running fullback middle here, which is a play for the fullback. And I do hit him on a little pass play here for another first down. So, it's now 3rd and 9. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Ted Bolser here. 
to the six yard line and we're about to score once again and Willis up the middle for his second touchdown of the game oh yeah so it basically gives us the first half victory over Ohio so now we're gonna go ahead and head into the second half here see if we can still play well and I'm running a little screen play to DeMarlo Belcher it turns out well as Belcher getting down to the 45 yard line for once again probably our 12th or 13th first down of the game so I'm going to be handing it off to Willis here for about six seven yards and another first down here so Ted Bolser running four verticals and I find Kofi Hughes for the touchdown third touchdown of the Indiana Hoosier drives here as we have the lead 21 to 3 so pretty big and Kofi Hughes is gonna catch this one deep so Edward Wright Baker finding him perfectly on this little deep route to Kofi Hughes for the touchdown so I'm very excited and now it's 21 to 3 actually now it's 21 10 and Darius Willis up the middle for about eight yards and another first down so right now we're running this play called shakes and Kofi Hughes I hit him see him for a split second and Edward Wright Baker is having the game of his life here as we head into the third quarter end of the third quarter Indiana has the lead 21 to 10 so very very crucial that we keep the drives going and keep our offense rumbling and tumbling so here it's now second and goal we're almost about to score and Nick Turner our backup running back showing off what he can do for another touchdown run and that'll basically show that we are not to be reckoned with as it is now 28 to 10 and once again PA power a working at its best Ted Bolser found for another first down and I'm running this little play called PA boot corner and that was a fail from the beginning I should have probably lofted that one up and here was the last part of the fail right Baker dives that was completely my fault I should not have dove not understanding what I was doing there I will admit and basically letting up a touchdown and now it's 28 to 17 and we're basically going to go ahead and try to run out the clock here Ohio calling a timeout right there it's 28 16 and Zach Davis Walker wow the third string running back coming in here and scoring a touchdown wow that shows some pride that we could put in our third string running back against the number 18 Ohio Bobcats and basically score at will with that young man so it's gonna go ahead and end the game as Terry Bones is lifted by Edward Wright Baker and Ted Bolser so excuse me that's Paul Phillips that's our fullback so we have won the game 35-23 a very offensive game for us probably the most offensive game against a decent team I've ever seen us play as our play our Terry Bones is very excited and I'm congratulating the other coach not sure why I mean obviously in college you have to but so that's going to basically wrap up the first season as Willis gets 92 yards with two touchdowns and 12 receiving yards so folks that's going to basically wrap up the first season as I show a couple more highlights from this game showing off that we have I have proof that we've won the pizza bowl champions so now heading into our second season it's now the off season. could I potentially go to Air Force in Kansas State let's see what I do so Right off the bat here, I see what they say. It says, thank you for your interest in this job, but we have decided to go in another direction. So I'm pretty frustrated that these guys don't feel the need to sign me. I don't exactly want to go to Air Force. Troy Calhoun, obviously, has his contract expired. He's a very good coach, so not going to be going there. So now maybe Kansas State wants us here, but it says, feel free to look, but it's not time for this contract to be signed. So I guess we won't be going there either. So you know what, Indiana Hoosier fans? If you're out there still watching these videos, I'm coming home, baby. Indiana Hoosier football, I will be playing for the Hoosiers in my second season. So continuing this offseason, let's check out the players that are leaving. And Darius Willis is going to the pro draft. I'm very excited for him that he had the chance to do that. And Dusty Keel, our backup quarterback, will be transferring. I assume it's because Edward Reipaker, now a junior, heading into his second season, will be the starter and will remain the starter. So... Now DeMarlo Belcher is graduating, so here in recruiting of week one, I will not be showing the recruiting process, but I will be showing signing day, so let's get to signing day right now. Here in signing day, we have a big day for all prospects out there that want to be signed. 
via big school, and right now, I have 20 run- 21 recruits, and that's going to start off with a four-star running back, Keith Sims, along with a three-star athlete, and the rest of them are three-star. I've ranked them. I reordered them by caliber, so the rest of them are three-star or lower. So most of these players are skilled positions, but some of them you occasionally will see a little linebacker, a guard, strong safety, more linebackers, another quarterback, a tight end, a tackle, free safety, outside linebacker, cornerback, who is terrible, 201. So now heading heading into the training results from last season, as our best player is going to be our center, and our second best is our kicker. So Edward Wright Baker now an 82. Nick Turner up to an 81. I am excited for that. Paul Phillips going to be a 72. Deweese Wilson as a junior to an 85. Ooh, wow, Bolser an 86 as a junior. This could be good in the future. But um, it's basically our offensive line. There's our best player, Will Mott. So we have a pretty decent offensive line. I like it. So I these rosters, sadly, when you get in with your rosters, excuse me, when you take your prospects that you got from last season, they don't improve as they're in their freshman season. They don't get any points gained as Stefan Obengadiapong. That's a sweet name. So, the freshmen don't get points, but whatever. So now heading into the custom conferences, do had to make did have to make two changes because there are some changes always going on in the real world. So, we're going to go ahead into the Mountain West Conference. TCU happens to be there, and you know where they ended up going. The Big 12, they changed quickly. At first, I thought Big East, but wait, now it's the Big 12. They changed. Sorry. So, they will be heading to the Big 12. So, I have to make a quick change going to the Big 12 now. Texas A&M will be going to the SEC next year, so... Might as well make that relevant to the real world and make that change right away here. So the SEC West, they will be joining. So now, please, folks, come back for some second season of Indiana Hoosier football as we take on FCS Southeast in our second game. So thanks for watching all. More vids will come to you soon. See ya.